Today I want to spend some time going over what I won't wear this fall. As I've been developing my personal style, I've realized that reflecting on what I don't want to wear and looking back at old outfits and finding things that no longer feel like me has been really helpful. And it's allowed me to develop my style and evolve in a way that feels really authentic and still appreciates everything that I've worn in the past. There's no shame associated with any of my outfits, but simply an evolution of who I am as a person. And it's such a joy to be able to go back and reflect on that. So I wanna share that with you in today's video. Let's get started. The first thing I won't wear this fall is anything that's too preppy, too literal preppy. There's something about the fall that makes me really wanna dress in a collegiate way and kind of that prep school vibe. I love the pleated skirts, I love the loafers, the blazers, I love tweed, I love all of it. And as my style has evolved, I've had phases where I've been super preppy and I've loved replicating those looks. And as my style has progressed, I still love the preppy aesthetic, but what I've really been loving lately is injecting one or two pieces and allowing that to become a focal point so I can tap into it, but it's not too literal. And I've learned that whenever I kind of copy and paste something exactly as I've seen it, it feels a little costumey on me and I'm fighting that desire when it comes to to this fall because as soon as it starts to get chilly, I want to get a book, wear a plaid skirt, wear loafers, and a blazer. And so wearing one or two of those at a time is allowing my style to feel really authentic right now. And it's something I've really been enjoying. I've also been able to use this as a way to take the pieces that I love and then update them a little bit. So I mentioned this in my fall wish list video, but going for something like a lace up brogue style shoe is something I've always loved, but finding it with a chunkier sole is allowing me to feel a little bit more current and slightly off kilter. And that mix is something I absolutely love. Another thing I won't be wearing this fall is any color that's too warm and those stereotypical fall colors, things like those oranges, those really, really warm greens, the things that look like autumn leaves and the colors that we see everywhere this time of the year. I really love those colors. I think they're so beautiful. I think it's so fun to dress in relation to the season and those are the most obvious colors when we think of fall but when i've started to reflect on my personal style the last couple years and really start to tap into what's going to work for me for the long run i've decided that when i wear those colors i don't feel my best so i could feel really great on the inside but i'll wear an orange top for example and i just don't feel like i match my outside doesn't match the inside so instead i've been rephrasing what those fall colors are for myself and finding colors that are still present this time of the year but that work with my color palette a lot better. So I'm loving those beautiful Bordeaux colors, things like a really rich slate gray and by tapping into that part of the color palette I'm able to participate but do so in a way that doesn't compromise how I feel on the inside. So similarly I'm also leaning into burgundy accessories over brown accessories and this comes as a result of my color palette evolving because when it came down to trying to force those fall colors burgundy just didn't really work within that mix but now that I have established a color palette that removed those I'm able to incorporate burgundy in a way that feels really authentic and organic and it just goes so things like my beautiful blue colors that I've accumulated things like green I think looks beautiful with burgundy black also looks great with it and of course gray and then wearing those with the more burgundy color belts and shoes has been so wonderful and I'm excited to continue that for fall because it's something that again I've always liked but before I started to get really analytical about my wardrobe and figure out the why behind things not working I kind of felt lost and so as I've developed that and been able to understand how colors mix and match better I've been able to do so in a way that allows for those colors that I've always loved but I didn't really know where to start and burgundy is definitely one of them and the last thing I won't wear this fall is the same two sweaters over and over and over again I really really love sweaters and I've accumulated quite a few in the last few years but I need to actually go through them I need to wear them and style them and I need to do that in order to decide if there's anything that's no longer working with my style and having them sit by themselves isn't going to help that process so I want to be really mindful of actually wearing them and putting outfit 
fits together. And then I can go through it and decide what's working and what's not. And if that's something that you're interested in, let me know because I can share that process in a video. And then of course, share my reasoning if I decide to get rid of anything. So definitely let me know if that's something you're wanting to see and if there's anything else that you wanna see for your own style. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.